Welcome back and thank you for staying with us here at 430. I'm Whitney Ward. We do begin this half hour now with an update on that breaking news out of Yakima. Just within the last few minutes, the Yakima police chief has confirmed the gunman has been found dead from what appears to be a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Crime 2's Mark Hanrahan has been listening to a press conference where the chief described what happened today. He's joining us now live. Mark. Well, Whitney, Chief Matt Murray just described how this tense situation that started as a triple homicide turned manhunt unfolded. That shooting happened at around 3.30 this morning and came to an end nearly 12 hours later at 2.16 this afternoon. As police were moving in toward the suspect, the chief said officers heard what sounded like gunfire and then found the suspected gunman dead, again from what you mentioned, what appears to be a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Police say it began when Jared Haddock walked into the Circle K convenience store at around 3.30 this morning and opened open fire on three people killing them. Detectives don't know why at this point it appears to be random right now. He then walked outside and opened fire on his own car to get inside after locking himself out. He then took off. Police later responded to a home where they thought the suspect was and surrounded it with the SWAT team. But then a family member of the suspect called 911 to say Haddock essentially confessed to the murders. Then at around 2.15, a witness called 911 to report seeing the gunman walking near the Target store in town. He was ultimately found dead outside again from that self apparent self inflicted gunshot wound. Tonight, the question remains what prompted the gunman to kill three people? Well, here is how the police chief described how those murders unfolded this morning. You know, literally, as he was opening the door, he started shooting these people. And then, um, after shooting both of them, and, and remember, he was not masked up, he did nothing to conceal his identity. He walked out, saw somebody else in a car, and shot them. And then walked across the street, shot his own car a lot of times, by the way, and drove away. So um, from the video and the witness statements, it looks very much random. Well, the chief also mentioned that a handgun and what he described as a large amount of ammunition were recovered near the deceased suspect this afternoon. At this hour, police have not identified any of the victims. This continues to be a developing story. We will bring you any updates just as soon as we get them.